Welcome to my channel, I'm Viva Glaze. If you're new here, consider subscribing, click on the notification bell so you know each time I put out a video and like the video if you enjoy it. So today, I'm sharing with you one of my luxury bags, designer bags. I used to do a lot of bag reviews of my bags, but um, I took about a year off YouTube, close to a year, and in that year, before the, the you know bag increase was just too much, I was accumulating some designer trinkets here and there and one of the bags that I was able to get was this Chanel bag right here that I'm going to share with you. Sometimes I have some of my bags displayed in the background. So this is one of the bags that I displayed in the background and these things are so expensive. We love them, they're luxury and they have great resale price but I had help to purchase them so I had a little extra cash from, you know, gifts and things like that when I have something on my wish list that is more expensive I let everybody know to give me cash for my birthday or Christmas or whatever and I add that to my savings for designer larger designer purchases that I don't want to spend a whole chunk of money from my own account for you know so let's open this first the box is probably old now. I've had this bag for a while. I should mention this is pre-loved. When I bought it, it was pre-loved. Obviously, I tried to put it back in the box, kind of like how it came, but it's not really the same way. You know, I just kind of threw it in there. So a dust bag. And this is the bag, basically. I tried to put the tag back on there as well <laughs> but this is the Chanel maxi flap it's the classic design obviously as you can see and this one is in gold hardware and this is lambskin leather very delicate like very delicate I like having my nails done up so Scratching it is just like expected thing actually and then it's got this back pocket here Inside zip Well, it still has that leather part there that I always leave there. But anyway, um Only a few things fit in here um, Notes papers receipts that type of thing. I wouldn't put coins in there though. The first part here oh, This is gonna be hard because this bag is big. It's about 30 centimeters length so the first pocket in there is empty i think i emptied the bag before this is the first kind of flap it's got the cc logo chanel over there and it's like a big hole inside it's got a stuffing i try to keep the stuffing in there to keep the shape but anyway the more i bend the flap the more the leather wrinkles at the back so i can't do that too much so just bear with me that's basically the color inside and there are two side pockets and a middle lipstick pocket there and then nothing else inside when I say I can fit anything I need to fit in there I'm not even joking so there's another pocket here at the front so there's a pocket here the main pocket back pocket and then just this pocket at the back. This is the bottom. And I love this bag. When I say I can throw in stuff and still have room, I mean it. It's comfortable. It doesn't get too heavy for me. Like on its own, of course, it's, it's a substantial weight because of the chain and the size of the bag. But it's not actually a heavy bag at all. And I always wear it like this on my shoulder. Um, I never have it like one long like that. No, not at all. I don't even know how far down my body goes because I've never worn it like that. I wear this bag dressed casually. So I'm talking like Air Force, tights, shirt, you know, even what I'm wearing today. And sometimes I wear, you know, dressy, night out dressy. This has to be my favorite size of the Chanel flaps. Um, and I love the black, obviously it goes with anything. And I love gold, you guys already know this. It's been really, really great. I don't want to tell you what else I have in my collection, but um, 
yeah slowly you start to see what i have in my bag collection but i will talk about the chanel top handle the white one that i have that because you guys have seen that in some of my videos in the background so i love that as well but that one is in a caviar leather this is this leather is, is so buttery and soft and it's yeah like i said easy see i just scratched it i just scratched it showing you oh my gosh you guys i bought it for eight thousand eight hundred ninety nine but i'm seeing here that there's one also oh but it's slightly more used than mine it's 7370 now there's this similar bag in the red color that i'm eyeing 9999 but i love this red so i really want that one and um i'm kind of digressing right now but the same bag that I have in caviar is 11,900. And then the same bag, but in silver hardware is 7,370. It looks like the bags have gone up even on eBay. Lucky for me then. Um, but yeah, like I said, you can find similar bags online, pre-loved. Um, just be careful. This was a authenticated and basically they can you can chase up the seller if you get it authenticated yourself and find that it's not real you can go back on ebay and basically let them know that the bag you got was fake and then evidence and things like that and then they will chase up the seller and basically close down their account if they're selling fake stuff but anyway that's a story for another day but yeah so just be careful that it's authentic obviously because ebay is a bit sensitive so these pre-loved stores are a little bit you know long story short i love my maxi bag i think that's my favorite size in chanel flap classic flap bags and it's lambskin i don't regret having lambskin because i think lambskin looks the best actually if you have any questions leave them down below and i hope you enjoyed this video um see you in the next one bye let's talk giveaway so the last giveaway I think was a success because we did find somebody who could follow those rules but anyway this giveaway will be slightly different because the rules of course will be different but much easier than the last one so let's see how you guys go with that I was thinking maybe obviously some fragrances but should we throw in a jewelry piece cosmetics uh, maybe something bath and body last time I had skincare in there, but um, um I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you guys want in a giveaway? I mean um, shoes clothes 